ho, ho, ho. G'day folks, we're back and have a look at where we are. An exciting new place. Well, if you've bothered to download Battle Racing Stars like I told you to, it's probably not that new, but for everyone else, here we are in the forest level of Battle Racing Stars. There's some racing going on behind me. There they go. <laughs> Fantastic. And you guys thought that we weren't going to be able to live up to last week's huge 50th episode. And then bam, we just go ahead and raise the bar yet again here on the Barry Vlog with some live sport. It's amazing. It's the YouTube treat that keeps on giving this vlog. I'll tell you that, guys. I mean, yeah, last week's 50th episode spectacular. It was pretty... Um, sp spectacular, uh, but here on the Barry Vlog, we don't rest on our laurels, you know? Onward and upward, my friends. Laurels, they're a bad thing to rest on. Anyway, not very comfortable. They offer very little back support. Uh, if you're going to rest, rest on a couch. And when I'm resting on a couch, my friends, I like to play me some half-brick games. <laughs> Just like the one going on behind me. Bang! Another top quality steak fries segue right there. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in again. Today I am going to play a game of Battle Racing Stars. For your viewing pleasure, my friends, show you what it's all about. If you haven't downloaded the game yet, you should do it. It is a lot of fun uh, and it's free. It is free for you to get. Zero dollars for you to just have this game. You just have it. That's amazing, right? It did cost half brick money to make it, but we're just gonna go ahead and give it to you for nothing. Is that madness? Perhaps. Anyway, the point is there's literally no excuse for you not to download this game, guys. In fact, I will go so far as to say it is downright rude if you don't download it. Um, but for anyone that's not convinced, we are going to get into a game right now. Barry's going to show you how to do it. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are in the game screen. And uh, oh, I got a booster pack to open. That's pretty exciting. Let's see what we got. Uh, some goodies. Bit of gold. Pretty good. Bit of Barry. Barry cards. Thank you very much. Some Murray cards. Also good. King. Yeah, whatever. Let's focus on Barry Steak Fries. Get some boost. Um, not going to make you guys sit through an ad. Uh, let's have a race. I will choose Barry Steak Fries. Yes. All right. Who's going to challenge me? Who dares challenge Steak Fries? I don't care who it is. I don't care where we race. I'll win. We're going to race at the Laboratory Conj... I don't know what that word. There's a good picture. Barry in front. Just the way it's supposed to be. All right. Who we got? Kevin King, the Lord. Oh, and Dan the Mans. Dan the Mans come along. I don't think so, Dan. Barry out to an early lead. And uh, don't forget, guys, the little boost, the blue boost button is uh, makes you go faster, which is quite cool. And also like stepping on those those blue things with the arrows. So they also make you go faster. The key is go fast. And uh, you get the red button once that um, powers up, you can shoot guys, like I just did then. And another boost, Barry out to an early lead, or Larry Steak, as you can see, I've made my name. Couldn't couldn't use my real name, or uh, other players would get. Too intimidated. So here he goes. Larry doing it beautifully. Victory for Barry. Ah, oh, there's another lap. Damn. Ouch. Where did that come from? That's not fair. Uh, okay. More boost. Thank you very much. Take the lead. Ouch. Take the lead again. And I can use my shield. And oh, that, where did that bloke come from? He shot me in the face. That's not fair. That guy just, just kind of flew in and shot me. That, uh, all right. I can still win this. I'm still in it. Let's get get on those blue things. No, you can't do that. Ah, oh, come on, get up, get up, Larry. Oh, this is gonna cost me. Boost, go. Use your shield. Yes. All right, go quickly. If, if you first pass the finish line, you win, guys. I don't know if I've explained this. Oh, that guy's gonna shoot me again. No. Ouch. Oh man. Oh dear. Second. Well, second to the Lord. That's probably fair enough. And importantly, I beat Dan the Man. So there we go. Second. Pretty good. Pretty good colour, Silver. I've always liked it. And that is that is how you play. <laughs> Normally I win. Uh, oh, no thanks, Barry. Um, but uh, second is pretty good, guys. And that's 
That's what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> Super stuff there. Anyway, go ahead, download the game, give it a shot yourselves, and you might even come first, guys. Second is still really, really good, though. Just, just to make that clear, there's nothing wrong with coming second. <sighs> All right, let's get to some comments. Here we go. First one, Miggy says, Halfbrick, can you do episode 51? Hi, Miggy. You betcha. It's happening right now. You are watching it. Uh, and it's going pretty good, I reckon. You know, some folks said there was no coming back from last week. Episode 50 can't possibly follow on from that. But here we are. We've done it, you know. There has to be an episode 51, my friends. Just like there had to be a Pirates of the Caribbean 5. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. What else we got? Zimmertrack says, very cool. When's your next video? I really want to be friends. Great question there, mate. Uh, once again, the video, next video is now. Right now, you are watching it. And I want to be friends too. Zimmertrack, let's be friends. Done. Hooray for friendship. <laughs> what else we got here? Joseph says, Barry, who would you like to see as the next character in the Battle Racing Stars game? That's a tremendous question there, Joseph. Right on point. Well done, mate. Um, there are some Ripper characters in there already, aren't there? From lots of the Half Brick games, of course. Jetpack Jura, you got me, you got a scientist. Uh, who else is in there? King from Magic Brick Wars. Dan the Man from whatever game he's from. Uh, there's got to be some other half brick games we can we can draw from. Uh, Fruit Ninja, maybe? What about a watermelon? A racing watermelon. I could get behind that. Um, or maybe a version of Barry Steak Fries that can't come second. Uh, either of those would be pretty sweet, I reckon. Uh, Co Gaming 2009. If you could make your own jetpack what would it be like whoa ripper question again from co gaming 2009 good question good year um honestly guys i've been waiting for someone to ask me this because i have got a pretty banging idea for a jetpack so um all right here it is like hear me out it's the the jetpack is like my face like barry steak fries's face and when you want to take off, the face like yells a big rock and roll scream at the ground. Like you press it and it goes, yeah! And then like, as you go higher, you get even higher scream like, yeah! Like, seriously, that is a top shelf idea. There is no downside to that jetpack, guys. I've... I've been trying to get that one through for a while, if I'm honest. Uh, but with no luck. They reckon it's silly. They reckon the yelly, singing jetpack is silly. But you know what I say? I say, they're silly. Maybe you guys will need to start putting some pressure on Heartbreak for the Barry's singing face jetpack. You know? Let the people of Heartbreak know this, this is what you guys want. This is what the people want. Go to the Heartbreak offices. If you have to. They're, they're in Brisbane. Uh, just ask to speak to the boss. His name is John Halfbrick. I assume. I don't know, actually. He's, he's never introduced himself to me. Uh, I I have no idea what his name is. Uh, but he's here. And he just kind of strides around the office. Wears a big cape. And a gold crown with a H on it. Uh, he's got a few lackeys that follow him around. Light his cigars for him with... $100 bills. You guys know, like a standard boss type guy. Um, anyway, the point is, the Barry Face Jetpack. That's that's what we want. That's what we want to see. So, once again, great question there from Co Gaming. I'm glad I was able to share that with you guys this week. Uh, Aaron's back. Hey, Barry, it's me again. I have a few questions. Hope you can answer. How's a solo album? If you had real power, what would your power be about? Do you have a crush on someone? Ooh, three in one question there from Aaron. How you going? Uh, 
Look, the solo albums, um, look, great art takes time, guys, you know, everyone knows that, Barry's solo album, well, that, that also takes time, um, it's coming along, Aaron, to answer your first question there, uh, it'll be worth the wait, <laughs> it'll probably be, probably be worth the wait, uh, what else, if I had a real power, I, well, you know what, guys? I feel like I do have a real power. You know, the power of connecting with my friends, my fans, sharing great times together, you know, the magic of communication through the internet. That's that's the real power. Um, and my crush is uh, Zimmer Tracks, because we're friends now. Yay. There you go. Thanks for writing in. Um... Ryan Aldrin says, Barry, would you give Dan a wedgie if you saw him in the lab while you were jetpacking around? Uh, another great question there from Ryan, and you're absolutely right to ask that, because I did once try and give Dan the man a wedgie. Uh, full disclosure, he totally saw me coming, uh, overpowered me, tackled me to the ground, flipped me over, and he actually dished out. A pretty gnarly wedgie to me that day. So, um... Didn't go that great, Ryan. But maybe next time. Kind of regret telling everyone about that now. Yeah. Well, that'll do it for episode 51, my friends. Thought it was... Thought it was pretty good. Think you'll agree. Uh, had some good times. Some ups, some downs. I'll give this episode 5.1 out of 10, which is a pass, pretty sure. See you next time, guys, for something even better, probably. Yay!